What's up, Cham Fam? It's your girl, Sugar Shaw. Hey, feel I'm in the mood for a switch up. And you just stepped into another brick body workout. Today, we're about to do a strength workout. So you will need some type of weight resistance. I know you're probably doing this from home and you might not have dumbbells because they're hard to come by right now. But don't worry, like always, I got you. Even if you don't have dumbbells, there's plenty of other things that have weight that you can use as resistance to get stronger. You got canned food? Well, guess what? You got some bicep curls. Or just grab a jar of spaghetti sauce. Same thing, but just don't drop it and break it. That's gonna get messy. And even though I said I got you, mm, I'm not gonna take it that far. You're cleaning up that mess on your own. You got some books lying around? Drop them into a backpack and get to work. Ugh, Adidas. Obviously, this is my boyfriend's backpack. Don't have any of those household items? Just pick up your dog or your cat and you've gotta wait. So basically, no excuses. You can do this workout with anything you can find from around your house and still get the benefit and still get jacked. Kingston, how am I gonna do my workout? You can't be here. So today guys, we're going to do three rounds of three exercises. Our first exercise is going to be overhead press. Now, usually in strength workouts, you're gonna do a certain number of reps. Today, we are going to work with time. So you're gonna go at your own pace, do continuous reps as many as you can until muscular failure. If you get to a point where you need to stop and rest, just hold a nice, strong position and then continue with your reps until we finish the minute. Now, I know in most strength training workouts, in between sets, you look a little something like this. Chilling on the bench, maybe scrolling through the gram, but in a brick body workout, that's not how we do it. In between our sets, we're gonna keep crushing it and we're gonna add a blast. You know how I love those blasts? You love them too, right? So after the minute of overhead press, we're gonna go right into a 30 second blast of shoulder taps. After this, then you'll get a little break, but not too long because we're going right into our second exercise. Our second exercise in the circuit is going to be hammer curls. You're gonna have your feet a little bit narrow and we're gonna drive those hands up towards your shoulders, both hands at the same time, again for one minute. After this minute, you guessed it, no lazy bench sitting, we're going right into another blast. Because we're working our biceps in this set, we're going to go on the floor into some plank push-ups for a 30 second blast. And after our teeny tiny break, after the plank push-ups, we're gonna go right into one minute of tricep overhead extension. We're really focusing on keeping our core set during this. And after the minute, we're gonna go right into our 30 second blast of tricep dips. You don't need a tricep dip bar for this. We're gonna do ours on the ground. Look, I know I made you feel bad about sitting on the bench in between sets, but if you really can't stand up during these exercises and you need to modify, I got you. You have my permission to sit down on the bench, okay? So if you're ready, I'm ready. I'm always ready, who am I kidding? Let's get into it. All right, champ fam, we're about to start with our overhead press now, our first exercise of our first round. So here we go. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's get it. Press all the way up. Focus on exhaling on the hard part. The hard part being when we extend, okay? Breathing is always important. Not just important when we're doing conditioning, not just important in our HIIT workouts, but also in strength. Your muscles need that oxygen. So breathe. If you need a little assistance from your legs as it starts to get heavy, use that little boost. It's okay for now. You might be getting a little bit of a burn in those arms, and that's what we want. If you need to take a rest and hold them right here, that's okay. If you actually need to put them down, wiggle those shoulders out a little bit and go right back into it. 
Just keep breathing. Keep pushing as much as you can push today. It's not about how much I can push, but about how much you can push. And we're finishing with that. We're gonna go right into our blast. Our blast of shoulder taps. Here we go, guys. 30 seconds, we're starting in three, two, one, let's tap. Non-stop, I want you to focus on keeping that core tight. Your shoulders might still be burning from the overhead press. This is our superset, this is our blast that we're adding because we're just that badass. Keep breathing through it. Try to keep that body really stable. We don't want to wiggle all over the place. You're almost done, guys. We're gonna count down. Three, two, one, time. That's it, guys. Shake out those arms. Starting to feel the blood pooling into those shoulders. Starting to feel yo. Let's go. All right, guys, it's time to go into our second set of our first circuit. We're going into our bicep hammer curls, okay? So we wanna have a nice, strong stance as always. We're setting our core. We don't wanna be lifting with our back. We wanna be lifting only with our arms, okay? So we're gonna start this. We're gonna count down for a minute, and we're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Pump. Make sure you keep breathing. Holding your breath is the worst idea right now. Breath is life. Those muscles need oxygen. You guys feel that power? You feel that strength? Woo! I'm feeling it. Keep pumping, guys. Go at a pace that works for you to make it through this whole minute. Remember, this is where you're starting from. This is not where you're finishing. So today, whatever you can do, that's good for today. Tomorrow, you can add on and do a little bit better. Before you know it, you're gonna be so strong, so fit, and so mentally tough to get through any workout that you try to approach. Let's keep it going, guys. We're almost there. Keep pumping. You got it. My biceps are starting to tighten up. How are yours feeling? Guess what? It doesn't matter, because we're gonna beat through it either way. Let's go, guys. We're done. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go right into our blast of plank push-ups. Here we go. Guys, we've got 30 seconds. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's work. Up, up. Keep that core set. Switch sides each time. I'm going right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. I know, that sounds like a brain game. And guess what? It is. We're not just getting mentally tough. We're not just getting physically tough. We're getting mentally tough, guys. Keep switching. You've got it. Wow, we're almost there. Three, two, one, time. Huh. I'm feeling it in my whole upper body. I'm feeling it in my core, but I'm feeling alive. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling ready to go. How are you feeling? Maybe a couple deep breaths might be a good idea right now. Here we go, guys. We're gonna go into our last exercise of our first round. That means you've made it almost one third of the way through this workout. Be proud of yourself. Celebrate the little wins along the way. It's not just about the end result. Remember that fitness is a journey, just like life is a journey. You have to take it one step at a time, one rep at a time, one breath at a time, one workout at a time, guys. You can do this, okay? Here we go. I'm here with you. I'm glad you're here with me because there might be some points where I would want to quit, but because we're in this together, I'm not going to quit. Are you going to quit? Nah, you're not going to quit. You're too strong for that. Here we go, guys. You decide to show up, so let's show up and show out. We're going to start our tricep extensions in three, two, one. 
Let's work. Press that weight all the way up overhead. We have a nice grip under the weight. I'm holding mine lengthways. You can also hold it like width, so it's wider between your hands. Whatever is comfortable for you, as long as you're keeping your core set, you have a strong foundation underneath you that you're standing on, or if you're sitting down, you're sitting with really good posture on that bench. As always, we're breathing and believing. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do this. This is only a minute to push through. And I know the burn is setting in. It's happening for me too. But we're coming to the end of our minute and we're just gonna go right into our blast. Easy work, guys. We're gonna finish counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Let's go into our blast. Take it down to the ground. If you need a little stretch before you go into the blast, that's okay. These little breaks, I'm totally fine with. It's the scrolling lazy bench breaks I can't get down with. Here we go, guys. We're gonna get our butt off the ground, and we're gonna drop. We're doing 30 seconds, and let's work. Down. Keep it going, guys. Try to touch that booty down and bring it back up. As much as you can, Try not to have your shoulders and your ears like this. Let's have a strong stance, okay? And just bend back from those elbows. You're almost there. We're done in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, time! My triceps are yelling and screaming and maybe they're crying a little bit. But what do we say? You can cry, but you can't quit. That's right, guys. So now we have a break between our rounds. We're gonna go right into round two after we take a 30 second break. So do what you need. Drink some water, stretch out those arms. They're probably starting to feel pretty tight right now, but I hope that you're starting to feel pretty tough right now. If you want to have a dance break too, you can have a dance break. Hey, let's get it. Hey, hey, let's get it. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I record this without the music and add it later, so I'm gonna be offbeat. That's okay. Carefree is the way to be while you're doing your workouts. Be easy on yourself, but push hard through the workouts, okay? So let's be tough on our muscles, but easy on our mind, okay? Do not beat yourself up. If you can't do as many reps this round as you did last round, that's totally okay. But if you can, or you can beat how many you did last round, that's okay too. We're all at different levels of fitness, okay? Some of you, this might be your first strength workout. Some of you, you might be pro athletes. You might be bodybuilders. I don't know, and I don't care. This is for everybody. You can do this. Push at your level. And if you need more, add another workout on after this. Do what you need to do for you, okay? If at any point you start feeling dizzy in this workout, sit down, breathe. Find a bench, find a chair, find a couch, whatever you need to do, breathe through it. Pause your video and then get back to it, okay? I'm not trying to kill you, we're just here to level up. You ready to level up? I'm ready. Let's go into round two. Here we go. We're going right back to that overhead press, okay? Few deep breaths in a strong, powerful stance because you are strong and you are powerful. You better believe it. If you believe it in your mind, then you can put it into your body. We're gonna start the countdown to our second round. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Nice and strong, overhead press. Remember to keep that breathing going. And guys, depending on what type of athlete you are, because we are all athletes, because we're all putting our bodies through athletic rigor. So depending on what type of athlete you are, if you're a distance athlete, if you're a sprinter, these rounds might be affecting you differently. Myself, I'm an endurance athlete. I run better distance than I do for sprinting. So as I get warmed up, I actually feel better. You might be feeling destroyed right now, but that's okay. You're not gonna quit. 
I'm not gonna quit. We're all different, but we're all here. You chose to show up. You chose to be here. You already did the hardest part. This is just going through the motions. This is the easy work. We're done in three, two, one, time. Woo! Nice job, guys. Shake those arms out. Shimmy, shimmy, shake. We're feeling good, we're feeling great. I know I get a little cheesy when I work out, but I'm feeling it. So let's go into our blast. We're starting with our shoulder taps in three, two, one. Let's work. Tap it out, guys. Stay flat. Breathe. Stay strong. Keep it going. Your knees should be extended. Your spine should be stretched out long. Your belly button is pulled in. And we're gonna count down to the end of our blast. Three, two, one, time. Woo-wee! Ah, deep breath, shake it out, guys. We're going to go into our second round of our biceps now, okay? So let's get ready, guys. We're gonna start in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Drive those hands up. You're a warrior. Feel like you're a warrior. Pumping that iron or pumping those spaghetti sauce cans or curling that dog or that cat or whatever you found in your house that works for you. There are no excuses. There are only solutions. And I already gave them to you. So let's keep working. I'm making your job as easy as possible here, guys. All I want you to do, believe in yourself, keep breathing, and keep pumping. We're almost there. We're done in 10, nine, eight, seven, woo, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop those suckers. If you're holding a dog though, don't drop that. Bad idea, let's keep those animals safe, guys. All right, shake out those arms. You know those biceps are what give you your guns. So I hope you're pumping it hard. I can't wait to see your progress and your muscle definition. I can't wait to see all the heavy stuff you're able to pick up soon. It all starts here. It all starts right now. It all starts with showing up and you did that, okay? So let's go. We have our 30 second blast of our plank push-ups. Come on guys, we can do this. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's get it. Stay strong. We don't want any saggy back. Make sure you're going side to side, alternating. Use that brain. We're about to be brain and bronze. Come on, guys. Keep breathing. You got it. We're almost there. We're gonna count down. Three, two, one. Time. Woo! You having fun with those 30 second blasts? I know. It's different than what you do in the gym. We work different here, so we can break different later. Let's go. All right, guys, we are going to go into our last exercise of our second round, which is, again, our triceps, okay? Look, this is the part that starts flapping like wings. If you don't want that, then we gotta work it, okay? Here we go, guys. We're starting with our minute of our tricep overhead extensions. And make sure you keep breathing in three, two, one. Let's get it. Press it all the way up. Keep those elbows in tight. <sighs> Exhale out. The more it burns, the more you breathe. <sighs> Inhale that oxygen. Exhale that pain. We don't need it. <sighs> We're going to keep working through it. One minute, guys. You can do this. 60 seconds of work. 
to have a lifetime of strength. Let's go. You're almost there. Keep extending. When you get tired, focus on your form. Keep that head up. Drive those hands up. Keep your core tight and breathe through it. We're about to start our countdown in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time. Drop that puppy. Not your actual puppy. Drop that weight. All right, guys, we're about to go into our 30 second blast of our tricep floor dips. Are you ready? Let's go and drop it. Breathe. If you counted your reps last time, try to get this. Look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. At the end of the second round, my SD card memory filled up. So I could have quit and I wanted to quit, but I didn't quit. And that's the whole point of it, guys. I'm speaking my truth. We're gonna keep moving forward using our truth. So let's go into our last round. Now that I'm back, I went through it. I'm back to it. So let's get it in, okay? We're gonna go back into our very last round, starting with our overhead press. Those arms are probably feeling heavy right now, but hopefully your heart is feeling light, okay? I'm just happy to have you guys here with me still, so let's get into it. Guys, your mind is a powerful, powerful thing, and you can choose to use it in whatever way you want. So you can choose to be defeated when things get hard, or you can choose to use that to set a fire underneath you and keep going forward. And that's what I chose to do today, and I hope you're choosing to do that with me. The fact that you're still here means that you are choosing to continue to fight through. So let's make this last round the very best round. Okay, here we go guys. We've got one minute of overhead press. You've already done it two times. You can do this again. Tell yourself, I can do this. Whew. And we're gonna count it down. We're starting in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Because you're probably a little bit tired right now. You need to especially focus on your breathing in this round. Those shoulders might be feeling like they can't extend up over your head again, but guess what? They can. The only way that you're actually done is if you literally cannot push your arms over your head at all. If you cannot find it within your mind, within your heart, within your body to do one more rep, then you fully reach muscular failure. That is also okay. But if you're not there, push through it. Keep going, guys. Breathe it out. You got it. We're gonna count down 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five. You have one more rep in you. Four, three. How about another one? Two, one last one. One. Drop those weights, guys. Oh, shake it out. We're gonna go right into our 30 second blast of our shoulder taps. I know those arms are probably throbbing, but guess what? So is your heart. As long as your heart is pumping, we keep going. Let's take it down. We've got 30 seconds of our shoulder taps. We're starting in three, two, one. Let's get it. Keep breathing it out, guys. Keep pushing it out. You are in your final round, the championship round. Remember, when it gets hard, that's when you see what you're made of. So ask yourself, what are you made of? Are you ready to push it through this last round or are you gonna quit? You can cry, but you can't quit. Let's keep going. And time. <sighs> nice job, guys. You didn't quit, I didn't quit. We're still in this together, holding each other up, holding each other accountable. Let's go into our 
second exercise of our championship round. Here we go. All right, guys, let's give those biceps one last round of pumps, okay? Let's get those Hulk arms going. We're starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get it. <sighs> Try not to move your body. We're only moving from our elbow joint for our biceps, okay? We're not using our back. When you get tired, focus on your form. Focus on your breathing. Focus on how strong you feel standing here. You're still here. You're still working. <sighs> With every rep, you get a little bit stronger. With every rep, you grow more confident in knowing that you can do it. You can get through this. You can crush anything you put your mind to. So keep working, guys. <sighs> when it feels hard, push harder. You've got it, let's go. We're gonna count down. You're to your last few seconds of your hammer curls. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. Time! Let's go into our blast. Okay guys, we're gonna start our plank push-up blast in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it, work it. By this point, you should have your coordination now. Remember, we're not only working our body, but we're working our brain, guys. We're getting stronger and smarter all at the same time. Where else can you do that but here with me? In brick body, let's go. Keep it working, guys. We're almost there. Three, two, one, time. Woo! Guys, I'm proud of you for still being here, for still crushing it. Heck, I'm proud of myself for coming back after I had a camera mishap and finishing it with you. So, let's crush this very last exercise in this last round. Are you ready? Of course you're ready. We're always ready, right? Let's get it. All right, guys, let's stand up strong. Get that power base underneath you. And let's get ready for our overhead tricep extensions. Our last minute of our weight resistance exercises. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Let's work. <sighs> Keep breathing, guys. The deeper we get into a workout, the stronger I want you to stand, okay? Feel proud. Grow in confidence with every rep. Grow in strength with every breath. And remember, when it feels hard, push harder. You can do this, set your core. Use that body as a strong base underneath you. I know, those little triceps are crying right now. I feel it. I can hear them screaming. And you can scream too if you need to. You can cry, but you can't quit. Let's go, guys. You're almost there. We're getting to our countdown in five, four, three, two, one. Ah, that's the best feeling. Throw that weight down. Shake it out, let it go. And let's go into our last 30 second blast of the entire strength workout. Let's take it down. Okay guys, we're starting our tricep dips in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it, drop it down. Try to get that butt all the way down. <sighs> Breathe through it. Keep that good posture in your neck. Your triceps might start shaking. Mine are, that's okay. That's weakness leaving your body. You're getting stronger. Keep it going, guys. Keep pumping it out. We're done in three, two, one. Time. Woo! You did it. Can you believe it? 
Of course you can believe it because you believed in yourself the entire time. I believed in you the entire time. I knew you could do it. I knew we could do it together and we did. Be proud of yourself. Stand up, shake it out, breathe it out. Hit that superhero stance because you are a superhero. Look guys, I know you already crushed it through three full rounds of strength training. Now, if you have it in you, and I know you do, then let's take it down to the ground for a bonus round of core crushing. What do you say? We have two minutes of abs, that's it. Do you have two minutes left of your time? If you do, let's take it down and let's get it. All right guys, if you're still here, thank you for staying around, you will not regret it or maybe you'll regret it in the moment, but afterwards you're gonna feel so strong. We're building those bricks one at a time. So here we go. You're in it to win it. Let's get it. We're gonna start with accordions. You're gonna reach all the way out and pull it all the way back. Let's have some control. Let's breathe through it. Let's be strong. We're gonna start in five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Reach it out, pull it back. You already made it through so many harder things today. This is nothing. This is just 30 seconds of icing on the cake, guys. You already know you're a champion. Start acting like it. Easy work, let's get it. And we're gonna count down three, two, one, time. Let's flip it over for our plank. Same thing, we're gonna hold for 30 seconds, guys. Let's stay flat. Remember, this is not the time to get that booty in the air and twerk, that's for after the workout. Here we go, guys. We're gonna start our plank in five, four, three, two, one. Let's work. Let's have a nice, flat form. Let's pull out long through the top of our head all the way down to our heels. Tuck that belly button, tuck that tail. Your arms may be shaking and that's okay because we put those arms through the ringer today. <sighs> keep breathing guys, keep holding. You've got 15 seconds left. <sighs> Almost there. And we're gonna count down five, four, three, two, one, time. Let's go back into our last round of both of these ab exercises. We're gonna go back to our accordions. We're gonna stretch it out and we're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's work, reach it out. Now that you know how this feels, guys, try to stretch even a little bit further, okay? This is your last round of this. After this, all you have left is one more 30 second plank. And remember, 30 seconds in the whole scheme of life, nothing, okay? You can do anything for 30 seconds. We're almost there. We're gonna count down, five, four, three, two, one, time. Let's stretch up and take a deep breath in. Let those abs release. Let your back release because this does work your back a little bit too. That is part of your core, okay? And let's flip it over. And let's get these mosquitoes to stop biting me. <laughs> ah, get out of here, pest. It's okay. A mosquito can't stop me. Here we go, guys. We're gonna start our last plank in three, two, one. Let's work. This is your last thing of the day, guys. I want you to reflect on all of the work we just put in. I want you to be proud of yourself for pushing, for not letting whatever happened today get in your way of being here. You showed up, you showed out. We put in some work and I am so proud of you. Keep breathing it out. We're almost there, guys. We're gonna be done in three, two, one. Time. Whew, that's it guys, you just crushed your entire workout. Woo! I wanna thank you again for coming and working out with me today. You 
absolutely obliterated that strength training workout. I want to remind you guys that life is not perfect, fitness is not perfect, it's a bumpy ride. So whatever happened to you before you came to this workout or whatever you go through after this workout, just remember to take it one moment at a time, one rep at a time, one breath at a time and find a way to overcome and to keep showing up. It's that consistency, it's that discipline that you're building. And eventually, you're gonna build those muscles along with it. So one last thing, before you dry off that beautiful sweaty face of yours, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe below, share the workout with all your friends, and I'll see you in the next Brick Body Workout with your girl, Sugar Shaw. Oh, 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 oh,